What's going on, everybody? It's Dylan Matthews out here live in the NFL Draft. Day two of the draft. Big question. Only question is, how do you feel about the Falcons draft? And Michael Penix Jr., the quarterback out of Washington, with the eighth overall pick. He's a good player, but I'm just not sure, after having signed Cousins, what the point was. We needed something on defense. Listen, I'm not going to hate. I'm, I'm happy with it, but he went too early. He, he went too early. We got we got Kirko Cousins. He's gonna tear things up for a couple of years. Kirko Chains. All right. He's gonna tear things up for a couple of years. But Penix could have waited. I wanted Dallas Turner at number eight pick. Edge rusher come in, mean Southern boy. But I'll take Michael Penix. I'll take his energy. Sit him on the bench for a couple of years behind Kirko Cousins. Get some uh, veteran experience, and then he's gonna come out rising up. You know, it really was something I had to sleep on because, you know, obviously on first blush, not a great pick, but the more I thought about it, you know what, I can kind of understand the reasoning. After these past two years of subpar quarterback play, you know, I'm never going to argue with taking the most important position in the game. It's a bipolar pick. We don't know what we're doing. Are we building for the future or are we building for now? We don't know. They're going to run a two quarterback set. No one knows what's going to happen. It is mind games. We're playing chess, everyone else playing checkers. The Zach Robinson offense is going to be completely unpredictable with two quarterbacks set. All right, we're in the NFL Draft. Day two, we'll see what happens.